Welcome back with a new math tutorial. In this video, we are talking about the volume of the prism. At the first, what is the meaning of the prism? The prism is a three-dimensional shape that has two paths are opposite to each other. The two paths are parallel and congruent. Parallel, it means they will never intersect. Congruent, it means the same size with the same shape. Now we have here the base. If you look at the base, the base is in the shape of a rectangle. If the shape is a rectangle, so we can say we have a rectangular prism. But if the base is a triangle, we can say we have a triangular prism. So the name of the prism depends on the name of its base. Now we need to find the volume. To find the volume of any prism, even if this prism is a triangular or rectangular, just we need to multiply the area of the base multiplied by the height. In this case, because we have a rectangle, so it would be length multiplied by width. That's the area of the base. Multiplied by the height. What is the meaning of the height? The height is the length of the line segment which is joining between the two parallel bases. So the length of the line segment joining between the two parallel bases is called the height. In this problem, we need to find the volume of each rectangular prism. Number one, to find the volume, we need to identify the base. At the first, the base that we have here in the shape of rectangle. So we have a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism with dimension five and four. So the remainder now will be the height. It means three will be the height. To find the volume at the first, I need to find the area of the base. The area of the base is equal to length multiplied by width, which is five times four equal to 20. Now we need to find the volume. To find the volume, we just use the area of the base that we find and multiply it by the height, which is 3. So 20 multiplied by 3, you'll find that the answer will be equal to 60. Because we are talking about the volume, it will be equal to cubic units. Again, one more time. If we need to find the volume of any rectangular prism, number 1, we need to identify the base. The base in the shape of rectangle. So the area of the rectangle equals the length multiplied by width, which is 9.5 times 5. By multiplying, you will find that the answer will be equals 47.5 squared unit. Now, if we need to find the volume, the volume will be equals the area of the base that we find, which is 47.5 multiplied by the height. The height, which is the length of the line segment joining between the two parallel paths, so it will be multiplied by 3. The answer will be 142.5 cubed unit. So again, one more time. If we need to find the area, it will be squared unit. But if we need to find the volume, it will be cubic unit. By the same way, in question number three, we need to find the volume. So number one, we need to find the base. That will be the base. The base in the shape of rectangle. The area of the rectangle will be equal length multiplied by width, which is 11 multiplied by 5. 11 times 5, it means the answer will be equals 55 squared inch. Now we need to find the volume. We said the volume will be equal to the area of the base that we find, which is 55, multiplied by the length of the height, which is 4. So the answer would be equals 220 cubed units. In question number 7, we need to find the volume. If you look at the base, you will find that the base has a triangle. So we are talking about triangular prism. So by the same way as we solve in rectangular prism, we will follow the same. Number 1, we need to find the area of the base. The base at the triangle, so the area of the triangle equals to half times base times height. So that's 1 over 2 multiplied by the length of the base, which is 8, multiplied by the length of the height, which is 6. So the answer now would be equals to 24 squared feet. Now we need to find the volume. We said the volume will be equal to the area of the base that we find, multiplied by the height, which is 9. By multiplying, you will find that the answer would be equals to 116 cubic units. Again, question number 8. In question number 8, we need to find the volume. As we said before, we need to identify the base. That will be the base, the base at the triangle, so we need to find the area of the triangle. Once we need to find the volume of any prism, number 1, identify the base. Then find the area of the base. The area of the base, the base at the triangle, which equals to half multiplied by the length of the base multiplied by the height. The base now equals 4. And the height of the triangle equals 5. By multiplying, you will find that the answer will be equals to 10 squared units. Now we need to find the volume. The volume we just use the area of the base that we find, which is 10 multiplied by the length of the height. The height is the length of the line segment joining between the two parallel bases, which is 7. By multiplying, you will find that the answer will be equals 70 cubed units. In question number 9, by the same way we need to find the volume, the volume will be equals the area of the base multiplied by the height. So we have here the base at the triangle, so we just find the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle would be equals half multiplied by the length of the base multiplied by the height. The length of the base which equal to 7. 
and the height which is equal to 3. By multiplying, you will find that the answer will be equal to 10.5 squared unit. Now we need to find the volume. To find the volume will be equal to the area of the base, which is 10.5, multiplied by the length of the height, which is 6. By multiplying, you will find that the answer will be 63 cubic unit. And that's how can we find the volume of the rectangular and triangular prism.